Hello everyone and welcome on into Syndrome of Concave So Tarot. This is Sunny. What an amazing morning it is. Amazing week. It's Monday and it is 9.55 a.m. October 9th. Yeah, we are getting on here to do a reading for Taurus. Yes, it is time for the Taurus reading. I'm very excited. Hopefully you all's week is going amazing and off to a great store here. And that positive energies are in alignment with you at this time. Why don't you all take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it when you do. And please do, uh, don't be afraid to leave me a comment. I'd love to know how you all are doing and how I can best manifest in your lives. And also, um, if you're looking for personal reading, the information is listed within the channel. Guys, I just ordered um, a lot of uh, great decks. I was looking for um, some other great decks. I found some amazing ones. I'm waiting on shipment. I also just um, authored one of and uh, published one of my next decks um, entitled Wisdom of the Dove. Yeah. Guidance for the Sojourning Soul. Um, and I'm waiting on that to come in as well to assist in you all's magnificent journey. We're going to be taking a look at the center of your heart space. Um, then we'll take a look at uh, what's behind the embers of the veil, your the spirit realm, the soul realm, and then we'll dig deeper into your reading. Um, once again, this reading is for Taurus. And uh, we are going to be obtaining truth from behind the veil for Taurus at this time. To my current subscribers, I thank you. I love you. If you're new here, welcome to my end. Yeah, well, we are seeking answers from behind the veil for truth, meaning, understanding, peace, hope, and light. And how we may best navigate ourselves on this magnificent journey. Spirits, give us the highest and divine message for Taurus at this time. What is happening with Taurus? You can go all spirits of light, angelic hosts. It's the highest and divine message for truth. Assigning tours at this time, please. What's going on with tours at this time, please? <clears throat> and for tours, what's happening at the center of the heart space, please, spirits? What's happening for tours at this time at the center of the heart space? Of the heart space for Taurus. Taurus is reading as for Taurus spirits happening at the center of the heart space for Taurus at this time. Align us with spirit and give us divine truth for Taurus at the center of the heart space, please. <clears throat> happening at the center of the heart space for Taurus. Taurus at this time, please. Okay, thank you, spirits. Hmm. My goodness. Taurus, this is amazing. Um, you all, we have C presenting itself here that you all are in the uh, soul's Trinitarianism phase, the soul's Trinitarianism phase here, which is great. <clears throat> yeah, the soul's Trinitarianism phase represents the Trinitarianism of souls, yeah, the divinity of souls, uh, which is what I have created, um, which is where you would have an opportunity to meet the identifiable and visible self, yeah, the you, that's been you've been in search for. Yeah, this is I mean complete um solace of the soul. My goodness, Taurus, you guys are you know, walking into some greatness here. I see. 
Yeah, this card speaks directly to the seat of the heart. My goodness, you are completely present with the heart. Yeah, the seated heart that harvests the embers from the burning face of God. My goodness, behind the omnipresent veil. Yeah, look at this, Taurus. You all are, this is an amazing time here. You all are becoming the omnipresent self. Yeah, I mean, look at this. You're, this is a time of harvest, growth, exponentially. Yeah, I mean, this is amazing to be seen in you all's reading. Yeah, the harvests are coming in. Yeah, this, this card it speaks to you no longer depending on the disparage of the heart of the earth realm. This means that you have relinquished that heart and that you are seated and equipped here. Look at this, how amazing and prophetic this is. Yeah, you're, you're seated within the heart of God, of the divine. Yeah, upon the gifting of that heart from the divine. And you're ready. You're, you look, look at this. You're, you're harvesting. Yeah, you're about to harvest the embers. Yeah, because there were truths that were revealed and you accepted those truths. Not only did you accept those truths towards, but you, hold, you held yourself accountable to the truths of the soul upon soul sifting. Yeah, look at this. You're being rewarded by the divine. My goodness. Look at this. I love to see this happening here. What's going on behind the veil for Taurus at this time? This is amazing time uh, coming in your life. Possibly one of the most amazing times here in your life, Taurus. Yeah, this is harvest time directly coming from the divine. Yeah, because you've been dwelling in the meekness of warm waters. Yeah, you've been dwelling in the spirit. Yeah, you've been let, allowing the rivers of flowing and living water go through you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're being rewarded for your work, for the divine. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, your investments have not been in vain, Taurus. Your sacrifices have not been in vain. Who am I speaking to? My goodness, this is amazing growth. Yeah, your money, your finances, yeah. Some of you are doing some things, taking on some new opportunities. I see a lot of you breaking out of your shell. A lot of you have been in a lot of pain, but their pain has been repurposed. Who am I talking to? And this is powerful movement in the, in the spirit realm. Yeah, you're beyond working on the soul realm. Yeah, some of you, I mean, your subconscious is under review. Yeah, you're doing all the work towards, you're about to be, this is harvest time. Yeah, you have full control over your soul here because you're allowing yourself to move in the spirit. Yeah, dwelling in the meekness of warm waters. My goodness. Look at this towards the lingering of peaches hovering over the crowns of angels. My goodness. You, I mean, there is a reward so heavy in, in the heavens for you, Taurus. My goodness. Peaches hovering over the crowns of angels. Can you envision how beautiful that is? Yeah, your home, your peace, your harmony, your balance is coming into place. Everything is about to start shifting for you. Some of you have been, may have been struggling or worried about finances and worried about your, your love affairs. All that is coming to, uh, the worst of it is over. I see it here. Yeah, because you're being considered. Yeah, the, what, what, is, what, is the, what are the lingering of peaches hovering over the crowns of angels? Yeah, it's you being considered. Yeah, you have your, your, your sacrifices to the divine are being considered. Yeah, look at this. And you're sitting very proudly here. Look at you sitting as the empress that you are. Yeah, the seat of the heart. Look at this. The seat of heat, the heart, excuse me, that harvests the embers from behind the burning face of God. Behind the omnipresent veil. Look at this. Dwelling in the meekness of warm waters. Lingering. My goodness, the consideration. Yeah, look at this because you, uh, yeah, self-actualized accountability has been in play here. Yeah, what did I say earlier? You've held yourself accountable to the truth of God. Yeah, of the divine, whatever higher power you believe in. Yeah, but please know this, that you're being rewarded. This is the greatest harvest that you've ever seen coming into your life at this time, Taurus. Look at this. Yeah, what else? My goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, Taurus. What did I say? Because you've travailed. 
calmly at the night. Yeah, you've done the work so holistically. Yeah, you've done an internal review. Your tears are not in vain. Look at the spirit. Yeah, those tears that you shed those nights, you stood up. Look at the 1010 10 just showed up on the clock. Yeah, please look 1010 10 up for prophetic meaning. But look at this, your tears. You're, you've been travailing in the spirit. Yeah, that's what the spirit came here to tell you today. Yeah, you've been travailing. You've been, your tears have been being poured into the divine. Mm -hmm. The rivers of living water. Yeah, and look at this. Because you told God, God, leave me not in the faces of the deep. Yeah. My goodness, you've been journeying. Some of you have been journeying so deep and so heavy in the spirit realm. I mean, it is amazing. <laughs> this is the best reading I've seen for you all in a long time, Taurus. Let's take a look. Yeah, but harvest. This is harvest time. My goodness, this is amazing. Harvest time. What's happening um, in the spirit realm, please? Or Taurus at the time, please. What's happening for Taurus? Highest divine message for highest truth for Taurus at this time. Spirits, what's happening in the spirit realm for Taurus at this time, please? What do they need to know or be made aware of? What's happening for? Thank you, spirits. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at this. The devil is busy, spirits. Uh, or excuse me, uh, well, spirits know too. But uh, Taurus, look at this. Look what's showing up in the spirit. Black color crayons knocking. Yeah, this card speaks directly to the devil is after your soul. Take heed to the decisions you make in the near future. Cleansing of the spirit is needed here. Yeah, so what the spirit is saying here is be mindful of the spirit. Because the devil is alert of your promise. Yeah, the devil is the Satan evil devices is very aware of the harvest that's coming in for you. So this is a warning from spirit Taurus to be very mindful of your decisions. And be very cognizant of what the Spirit is trying to reveal to you at this time. Because the enemy is listening. Yeah, look at this. Because you're relinquished. This is what's been, uh, what a lot of you have been harboring your pain about. And sending inspection card number four. You've gotten beyond the abandonment. Yeah, the pain of abandonment. Some of you had a serious fear of abandonment. And this is how the enemy was holding you hostage. Yeah, the enemy is holding you hostage. Yeah, why is this? It seemed like the light went dim. Hold on. There we go. I had to turn the light up a little bit. Um, yeah, but you all have been dealing with the spirit of abandonment. And this is where um, the spirit just revealed to me. <laughs> this is where you need to be careful towards because don't allow the pain of the past. Yeah, this is how the enemy's been able to keep you held hostage and keeping you stagnated from moving to the harvest. But spirit came in today to remind you that this is the enemy's device right here, the abandonment. A lot of you have a fear of abandonment here, but you're letting that go. You've released that. Mm -hmm. This was what you were asphyxiated to. And sending inspection card number eight showing up. Yeah. Yeah. And the enemy's trying to keep you asphyxiated to this belief that everyone's going to abandon you. But that's not the truth. Yeah. We have uh, number the numbers 4 and 8 are significant to some of you. The number 48, the number 84, the number 4848, and the number 8484. Yeah, but this is... that. Be careful in that area of the spirit, um, Taurus, because you've moved beyond this. But the, the enemy is trying to keep you in that state of fear. And you're, you've moved beyond that. This is where you've moved beyond. I can see that in the spirit because you've done the soul work. What's happening in the soul space for Taurus? <clears throat> What's happening for Taurus in the soul space, please? Yeah. Look at this evocative sense of mouthy Jan showing up. This card speaks directly to opening the soul to its senses. Yeah, become mute to the vanity of your own voice. Yeah, look at that, Taurus. 
what did I say? Listen to spirit. Let the spirit lead you at this time, leading you to your harvest. Yeah, don't let the vanity of your own voice. Yeah, what you believe you can produce based on, you know, the narrative that you've been telling yourself. Don't depend on that alone anymore because the spirit is definitely here to guide you. Yeah, and your soul is in desperate need of validity. Yeah, mm-hmm. Don't turn your back on yourself. Yeah. The love of self-imitating is meritorious. Yeah. Don't turn your back on yourself this time. That's why this is coming up for the soul. Yeah. See, because, yeah, don't close off the senses to your soul. Continue to nourish your soul at this time. Continue to focus on you. Yeah. Don't enter back into who am I talking to? I'm hearing the martyr. Coming up, the martyr spirit, the people please the spirit. Yeah, don't allow that to come back in because of this fear of abandonment. See, the spirit just showed me. This is the main area here that's been stopping a lot of you from getting to the harvest. But the spirit, the soul is telling you, do not turn your back on yourself. Choose to love the self that's dying to live. Yeah, that's dying for the promise. Yeah, the hope, the harvest, the destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because why? Yeah, matter of fact, we'll leave that out there. Yeah, you're journeying inward. Always remember to journey inward. And the reason why, Taurus, is because you're a symbol of divine timing. You are chosen by God, Taurus. My goodness, an assignment. Yeah, solely for the pursuit of divine works. Your time is eternal in God alone. Yeah, so God is telling you, who am I talking to? A lot of you are so powerful. My goodness, in the spirit realm. Look at this. You all are in the soul's Trinitarianism phase. I mean, I don't think you all understand how heavy and powerful this energy is. My goodness. Yeah, and that your tears have not been shed in, in vain here. And that, my goodness, you are journeying inward here, being called from the spirit to see that you have been journeying inward and you have been going through these dark times tours. You've been going through these contractual agreements with the divine to get to the seat that you're sitting in currently in the heart of the divine so that you can reap the harvest of the embers. Yeah, truths that you have not only harnessed, but you have held yourself accountable to. And that is definitely not taken lightly in the spirit realm. So let's take a look here. Let's get a little bit deeper into Taurus's reading. My goodness, I love this reading. This is great. So far here. What's happening for Taurus? Dig, take us a little bit deeper. What's happening for Taurus at this time? Please, please give us the highest divine message for the highest good of Taurus at this time. Let us behind the veil. Enter your way into portals and dimensions and dominions that we have not witnessed before. Give us the highest truth for Taurus at this time, please. Happening for tourist spirits at this time. Happening for tourists. What's happening for tourists at this time, please? Please give us the highest divine message for tours at this time, please. Messages for tours. Okay, so first card we have is Knight of Wands in the upright. Okay. Yeah, it was like I was saying. Yeah, I do see here we have the Knight of Wands showing up there, right, and the Eight of Swords. That you all have definitely been going back and forth about something in your heads. Eight of Swords, something that you've been thinking about. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You may possibly be being watched by someone. Page of Swords or the Spy Card presenting itself. Or you may be. Ooh. Let's look further before I say anything. Okay, we have Knight of Swords in the upright. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so I see you moving very quickly to being up in your head about something to coming out of your head about something. Your cards are just popping out, Swords. Let me see. The Hermit card in the reverse. Virgo energy. Yeah, you've done some soul seeking here. What else for Taurus, please? Taurus. It's for 
Taurus, please. Taurus. Taurus, please. Taurus. Oof, I love to see this. Five of Cups in the reverse. My goodness. <laughs> Conflict in the reverse I just talked about, Mr. J. Definitely moving into some common water here. After uh, some type of communication. There's too many cores. Yeah, five of cups in the reverse again. Uh, it's two people coming out of grave. Yeah, this may be a um, a positive uh, communication between you and, and someone. Love connection. And the magician here. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, an apology is taking place or a positive communication page of swords in the reverse. And then the end of conflict. This is great. Five of wands in the reverse accompanied by the page of swords. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have full, the full card Aries energy in the upright. Um, and the moon and awakening. This is great. I mean, I just see a lot of things coming together for for Taurus, and I'm a Taurus, so this is great. <laughs> um, yeah, there is definitely a journey here, um, taking journey to work on something here. That's the, with the main energy. This definitely could be your love life here, or just your entire life in general. Taurus with the moon card in the reverse, and that sun illuminating truth. Yeah, you know, there's definitely been some acceptance of truth and acceptance of. Um, the past and, and forgiveness taking place here, I see, with the food card. Yeah, you're taking a journey towards growth. Yeah, because previous here in the past, there was definitely, you know, back and forth, all up in your head, looking for ways to communicate. That's what I see, because Page of Swords here very quickly goes into Knight of Swords. Yeah, communication coming in, you and someone else coming out of their head about uh, communicating. That communication taking place doing the soul seeking uh virgo energy hermit according to the reverse and very quickly moving out of grief yeah men of being able to manifest um balance peace harmony into your life at this time yeah upon communication that's already taking place and ongoing healthy communication taking place because this is in the future energy yeah and the removal of conflict out of your energy i see a lot of releasing yeah, grief being alleviated out of your energy. Sorrow leaving your energy. Uh, conflict leaving your energy, whether that be internal or external. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, look at this. Somebody showing up as the king of wands here. Look at this. Yeah, my goodness. Look at this, Taurus. King of wands, energy. Ten of cups, your home coming back together. Yeah, whoever you this is, your soulmate connection. This could be a marriage for some of you. A definitely committed relationship. Yeah, this person, they're moving from Knight of Wands here to King of Wands. I don't know if a lot of you reconciled or what took place, but this person is moving from player energy to commitment. Yeah, because, yeah, they, they lost you at some point here, the Empress and the Reverse. Yeah, so they came up with a new plan here to get their act together. Yeah, because they were, t yeah, look at that. Three of Pentacles in the upright. Yeah, the Knight of Swords coming out of their tired of losing sleep over this ending. There was an ending. Um, reconciliation, I see, for a lot of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're the one. Yeah, look at that Justice card. Libra energy in the reverse next to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, look at all that passion they have for you. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're the Queen of Pentacles to so this person. You're their wish fulfillment. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I can see them coming directly in your reading. Well, look at what did I say? Moving into a higher level of commitment. The Hereford Court is showing up now. Mm hmm Look at that. Yeah, this is a marriage for some of a lot of you. Committed relationship. Yeah, moving into a higher level of commitment here. And very quickly, look at that. What did I say? You turn from Empress in the reverse to Empress in the upright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because neither one of you are going to miss out on this. What is this, a love of a lifetime? That's what I'm saying, Taurus. Love of a lifetime. Neither one of you are going to miss out on this opportunity. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, but there was previously where there previously was no balance. Yeah, you guys have been having some arguments and things like that. Conflict. That's, that's coming to a close. 
Yeah, the balance is here. That's serious energy. Temperance card is the reverse because you manifested it here. The magician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, you stepped up to the plate to do the work. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords. Yeah, and this your person did too. This is amazing. <clears throat> Page of Swords. Pages Swords for Taurus, please. Pages Swords. Yeah, look at that. You got the strength. Yep. My goodness. Yeah, you were you were looking for ways. Yeah, looking for ways to find the strength here to work on getting out of this grief. Yeah, out of the sorrow of previous hurts, pain of the past. But that grief is over. Yeah, that grief is over. Five of Cups. Mm hmm Yeah, over this, over the previous things, the enemy, the attacks of the enemy, the devil card showing up here, Capricorn energy. Yeah, but that devil energy is coming to a close here. Yeah, I see it. The grief is over. Mm hmm This is the reason here. Whatever toxic energy, whatever, all that, and this is about energy. Yeah, this is about the enemy controlling energy. Yeah, and that energy is being released. Yeah, because what do I see? You coming out of defense mode. Yeah, seven of wands in the reverse. Yeah, and definitely not walking away from your happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's what the enemy was trying to do to us, trying to steal your joy, trying to take your, the love of your life from you. Yeah, trying to take your finances down the drain. Yeah, trying to keep you feeling like you have to do this and do that. And, and, and in order to not be abandoned here, I see. Yeah, that spirit of abandonment, that's the demon there. That was trying to keep you here. Here they are. There's that demon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that devil that was keeping you in that that that, that abandonment, that martyrdom. Uh-huh. That was keeping, but but the spirit calls you out, gave you the strength here. You don't have to look for ways anymore. Yeah, I can see it here. Yeah, you took back control. The emperor in the uh in the upper right here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You fought back. You oh, I'm hearing that in the spirit. Yeah, you fought the devil back. Now, who am I talking to? Yeah, yeah. Some of yeah, some of you were seeing the devil coming to you in your dreams. I just saw it. Yeah, the serpent ensnaring themselves in your dreams, and you said, "Get thee behind me, Satan." Yeah, I heard you just call out to the spirit in your dreams about this devil. Mm hmm. Yeah, trying to take your joy, but it won't happen. Who am I talking to? Uh, Knight of Swords, please. Look at that. Yeah, tried to cause a death in your life. Yeah, the, an ending here. Yeah, but it won't take place. Scorpio energy tried to ruin you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. And look at what the look at what the divine has done. Yeah, the reconciliation. What did I say? Yeah, the coming together of everything in your life. The reconciling of everything in your life taking place. Yeah, where you thought there was no communication and it wasn't going to work out. Eight of Wands, that's a lie from the enemy because look how quickly you move into Three of Cups energy, celebration. Yeah, not having to protect yourself anymore. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, not feeling broken because that's you're stepping into the Emperor energy, Taurus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not fragile. Fragility of the heart, I'm hearing. Fragility of the heart. Yeah, speak to me, spirit. Who am I talking to? Yeah, that's why you've been travailing at the night. But those tears have not been in sacrifice. Yeah, because your harvest is here. <laughs> yeah, we come against all evil devices at this time by the name of all this divine. Trying to take the harvest from Taurus. But the harvest is here. Yeah, the divine has spoken. I see it in the spirit. Yeah, the harvest is here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person loves you. Look at this Knight of Cups. And the enemy trying to get you to see that that's not true. Yeah. But be assured that the love is real. King of Cups. Mm hmm Yeah. Letting down of the guards. Yeah. This person's not on the defense anymore. They know exactly what they need to do for your commitment here. In your marriage, your committed relationship. Yeah. They. What did I say? King, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Look at this. The releasing of toxic energies. Yeah. Play your energy. The releasing of... Uh, the devil energy. Did you see this? This is this person. Your soulmate connection. Giving this up here. The devil energy. You see that? 
Knight of Wands in the reverse. Mm hmm Look at this. Yeah. Decision has been made. <laughs> Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there's no question. The Hermit Moses, that's because the soul work has been being done. Mm hmm Behind the scenes, whether or not you believe that the work was being done to repair the marriage or repair the relationship, it has definitely been being done. <laughs> On both ends, not just with you, Taurus. The Hermit in reverse, please. For Taurus. The Hermit in the reverse. What an amazing reading. Yeah, oh my goodness, Taurus. Look at how amazing this is. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Coming out of Wounded Warrior energy. My gosh. Yeah, coming out. And choosing the option here, Seven of Cups, to reverse this here. You're getting your son back. Yeah, the son caught him the reverse. Yeah, because the pain, you know why this happened to you, uh, Taurus? Because first of all, I can see here that for a lot of you, you were dealing with the fear of abandonment. So that's the part on your end. But definitely your person, your soulmate connection, definitely has been wounded from the past. Yeah, there was a lot from their past that was too painful to deal with. And they have been dealing with it, yeah. So that they can become strong enough for the reconciliation. Death card in the reverse. What did I say? The spirit never lies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you all both are tired of losing sleep. Nine of wands. Yeah, and, and, and missing out on the happy times. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're done with that. Yeah, your home is coming together, saith the divine, saith the Lord. Yeah, your ten of pentacles is here, saith the divine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you all have everything. That's because you all have been communicating better. Page of wands here. Yeah, putting everything out on the table, working on the connection. Yeah, look at this seven of pentacles. Mm-hmm. A divinely orchestrated co connection here. Who am I talking to? Yeah, coming out of grief. Yeah, look at this. Man, this is this is the best rating I've seen for Taurus in a long time. <laughs> coming out of grief. Five of Cups in the reverse, please. Yeah. Look at that. Your wish fulfillment coming in. The star. Aquarius energy. Look at that, Taurus. Wish fulfillment. And it's coming fast. The chariot card. Cancerian energy. Oh my God, Taurus. Look at this. Look at this, Taurus. The reversal of heartbreak. Oh my God. This never happens. Three of swords in the reverse. This means a reconciliation and the coming bringing back of a love of a lifetime. Who am I talking to? Three of Swords and the Reverse. Yeah, and I see you doing something here, um, Taurus, where you're going to be highly recognized. I need to say that. Seven of Wands. You, Some of you are working on I mean, what did I say? Everything is turning in your favor at this time. This is the harvest time, Taurus. Yeah, you're going to be very recognized here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But look at that. Highly recognized in whatever you're doing in your career, your business moves. And look at that. The reversal here. Some of you had a marriage that you thought was going in shambles or a commitment you thought was going in shambles. But baby, let me tell you, the reconciliation is here and you all are doing the work here. Four of Wands and the reverse next to Six of Cups. There it is. Soulmate Connection Twin Flame. Yeah. And there's a reversal of this heartbreak. Yeah, and this is your wish fulfillment, and it's, and it's taking place because you've been doing the work, Taurus. You both have been doing the work. The magician, please. Yeah, the reversal of heartbreak. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. Yeah, look at this. The strength card. Leo energy. A lot of you may be dealing with the Leo. I do see that coming up again. Strength card and the reverse strength card up here. Look at that. Yeah, the strength is you've done the work over the ending. Yeah, the world card. Look at this, King of Pentacles. Yeah, look at your person. They're the King of Pentacles now. <laughs> yeah, 
fulfilling. They're, they're not afraid to be vulnerable and be emotional and work on the commitment and fulfill your needs because they're deciding to fill their own cup. Yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why is five of wands? Yeah, page of swords in the reverse, the five of wands in the reverse, please. Yeah, look at this, the acceptance of divine truth. What did I say? Ace of swords um, in the reverse. Yeah, with this being in the upright, it would mean that you're on the precipice of some divine truth, that you're just discovering and accepting some divine truth. Now, this is the self-actualized accountability I was talking about. This means that you've received truth, you've downloaded truth, and you recognize the error of your ways, and you have been exercising those truths and making them applicable in your life. Yeah, and you've been doing that regarding your home, your marriage, your committed relationship, your finances all coming together. Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're over here just like there's nothing left to discuss. I'm 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 I've got both foot out here. I'm I'm taking one foot at a time. I'm 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 invested in this. That's where I see a lot of tourist energy going on right now. Maximizing that empress energy. Yeah, a lot of you are maximizing that empress energy right now. Yeah, you don't even need to think about it. You know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're choosing, you've healing yourself. Yeah, a lot of you have, are healing yourself or have healed yourself. Yeah, coming out of a dark time, a struggle. Yeah, it's reached the max. You've, you're healed. You've healed. Four of swords. Look at that. Why is the food court here? The food court for tours, please. Yeah, look at that. Coming, yeah, look at this. The reconciliation, the coming together of a marriage again. Yeah, some of you thought that it was headed towards uh, being over, but it's not. I heard that for, I, my goodness, who am I talking to? Yeah, first of those of you who are married, committed relationship, the coming together. Yeah, taking the risk back. Yeah, because there's so much love between the two of you. Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, communication quickly. Knight of Swords. I see you all quickly resolving things now. Coming out of communication where there was a lot of, oh, you did this, you did that. To now coming into, okay, where you see if you're hurting your partner. Um, very quickly, there's an apology. And very quickly, there's better communication taking place. Yeah. Not all over the place. Three of Wands waiting and keeping things to yourself. And, you know, burying... Um, pain and, you know, afraid to speak up and things like that. All those narratives of unhealthy communication are coming to an end. Yeah, and it, and not slowly, very quickly. Yeah, you guys are coming together, understanding each other more. Knight of Pentacles. Togetherness. Yeah, look at this King of Cups showing up now. The King and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, what did I say? A divine connection meant to be. Look at that. My goodness, and this is like once in a lifetime type of stuff, um, Taurus. Where you could separate and do all that and then come back. And then um, everything is just worked out. The moon in the reverse, please. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it was revealed what, 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 what happened on both of y'all's ends to destroy what you all have built. Yeah. And with this awakening here, you realize that the conflict was not even necessary. Five of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, that conflict that destroyed your Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. But both of you have been made aware. Both of you are using, utilizing and harnessing your intuition now. Knowing what to do. Knowing what to say to each other. Yeah, better communication. Yeah, and victory. Finishing the cross line. How better... To end your reading. And look at that. Better communication. Knight of, King of Swords. Against the Six of Wands. My goodness. Victory. Crossing the finish line. And what did I say? You all are doing something that you're going to be very highly recognized for. It doesn't seem like it right now. But keep pushing. Keep working on it. 
Yeah, don't worry about whether or not this building's so huge right now. Because you know how uh, we get. I'm a tourist too, you know. And you can get kind of antsy. But just keep pushing. Keep doing it. Yeah, because it is going to pay off. It is huge. Like I said, your harvest is coming in, Taurus. Your harvest is coming in. My goodness. What an amazing reading for Taurus. My gosh. This is literally amazing. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Taurus, let's get some energy. Let me check one thing first, though. Give me one second, Taurus. <clears throat> I got to check my email real fast. Okay, Taurus, let me see. Let's get energies for Taurus. What energies does Taurus need to focus on at this time, please? Energies for Taurus at this time, please. What energies do they need to focus on, Spirit, at this time? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, what are they? Okay. Surrender to the Spirit energy, Taurus. Remain. Uh, centered in the control center of your spirit. Continue to do the solistic work, but please be led by the spirit at this time because real change starts from within you. We must stay focused on the changes that we are making towards. We must uh, not lose sight of the prize of the dream. Patience is within me. You know, spirit is calling you to uh, exercise your patience. Yeah, pace is, is the virtue. Yeah. Exercise and utilize your patience skills at this time. And you will not stand in the shadow of another. Look at this, Taurus. You're done standing in the shadows. Yeah, you're becoming you the omnipresent self. Yeah. You're tired of standing in the shadows. The spirit says you don't have to. Yes. Yeah, some of you, well, who am I talking to? Are hiding from your destiny. Yeah, don't don't have fear. And take your destiny by the bull horns. Who am I talking to, Taurus? My fellow Taurians right now, take your promise and your destiny by the bull horns. Yeah, you take it face to face here. You don't have to stand in the shadows of anything. Who am I talking to, Taurians? Yeah. Because guess what? At the end of the day, you can't change anyone but yourself, Taurus. So make sure that you choose faith over fear. What did I just say? Faith over fear. And please always know that you are filled with light and love. Yeah, with love and light here. Yeah, and right now, you're being called to continue to identify and remove toxic situations and toxic people from around your energy space. Yeah, that will not serve you well. And you're being called to forgive yourself, Taurus. Yeah, forgive yourself for dwelling in that fear of abandonment and being the martyr for so long. Be your own guide at this time. Don't be led by the devices of the enemy. Yeah, don't be led by the devices of the enemy, Taurus. Yeah, that's what you're being told at this time. Okay, Taurus, that's all I have for you all today. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, the number 4422 is important to some of you. Please look that up for prophetic meaning, 4422, once again. Um, I'm going to let you all go, Taurus, but before I do, I manifest, my goodness, what an amazing reading. I manifest the harvest of the embers in your life. Look at this. This is an amazing time of progression of grace being given. 
mercy of the divine for the sacrifices that you have made towards. Yeah, you're seated. Yeah, yeah, you're seated in the heart of the divine. Yeah, the seat of the heart, deeply planted and deeply rooted in highly divine places. Yeah, working from an authority, even some of you yourself didn't know you could obtain or already obtained. Yeah, and you're recognizing truths. Yeah, you're living and dwelling. I, yeah, I manifest that you would continue to live and dwell in the spirit of self-actualized accountability. Yeah, that you would continue to recognize that the tears that you have shed, the endless nights you've cried, have not been in vain. That the prayers you, you, you sent beyond the veil have been heard. Yeah, and that you are being considered at this time. Yeah, yeah, some of a lot of you are being considered for your harvest. Yeah, I manifest that God would not leave you in the faces of the deep. That God would continue to hear your tears being shed as you continue to journey inward towards. I manifest that you would receive fully and wholly within that you are a symbol of divine timing. That you are divinely orchestrated and articulated for a divine purpose in God alone. Yeah, that you were recognized at this very second. I don't care when you tap the screen. Yeah, that you are chosen by God solely for the pursuit of divine works. And that your time is eternal in the Lord alone. Yeah, no matter what the enemy's been telling you and whispering in your ear, trying to keep you entangled in an asphyxiation of an abandoned spirit. Yeah, yeah. Causing you to, uh, therefore, abandon yourself, Taurus, based on the narrative of the pseudo-self. Yeah, we know. Oh, I know you all too well, devil. Yeah, we come against you in the name of all that is divine. Yeah, trying to entangle yourself in the web of lies. <laughs> Your own truth, Satan, that you try to implant and imbue into the brain and the cycles of Taurus's brain to keep to get them to see and give up on the dream and the promise because oh I'm so afraid of being abandoned well that's a lie from the enemy yeah because you're incapable of being abandoned how so when you are already locatable from the faces of the deep yeah rocking in the womb of conception of the divine who am I talking to yeah what well, I manifest here at this time what is this that the devices of the enemy be uh, destroyed at this time. That the devil, that the devil, can never take your soul. I manifest that in the in the spirit realm. Yeah, by the soul trinitarianism. Yeah, I, I I manifest that now that the devil will take his hands off of your spirit at this time. Yeah, who am I talking to? That the that the the pure, yeah, the pureness and the divinity of your spirit cannot be touched. Yeah, that the prayers of the wise man could not be rearticulated for the demise of your spirit. Who am I preaching to? Who am I talking to out here that needs to hear this right now? Yeah, that the complete whole cleansing of your spirit would take place. Yeah, that the harvest, your harvest cannot be rearticulated and destroyed by the enemy. Yeah, so that he can reap the rewards of your tears. I come against it in the name of all that's divine. That the enemy would not have your tears and your sacrifice. And turn it into a pseudo-sacrifice. I come against it by the name of all that is divine at this time. And I pray all of these things. And I manifest these things in the lives of Taurus at this time. In the name of all that is divine. I'll leave you all with that. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it when you do. And to my current subscribers, I love you. I appreciate you. If you're new here, welcome on in. Please leave me a comment and let me know how you all are doing and how I can best be of service and manifesting in your lives on this magnificent journey of yours. Until the next time, I love you. Many blessings and abundance to you. Namaste. And I'll see you all in the next reading, Taurus. Take care.